How did I get here? How did it end up like this? I, th I thought it was just a shiny hunt. What brought me to this sandwich? Dunsparce. It's all Dunsparce. Always has been. My name is Matt, but you can call me Absol. I never expected this journey to take so long, nor did I expect to receive this much amazing art about it along the way. This is my hunt for a shiny three-segment to Dunsparce. Last year, I made a video talking about how unique the hunt for Antique Sinisty is in Sword and Shield. But now in Scarlet and Violet, we were given two new Pokémon that provide the same kind of thrilling 1% rare form hunt. With the three segment to Dunsparce, and the family of three Mousehold. What's unique about these forms is that unlike Sinistee, where both Sinistee and Poltegeist had two separate forms, the pre-evolutions Dunsparce and Tandemouse only have one form, making those that will evolve into the rare form indistinguishable from ones that won't. What determines which form it will evolve into is this secret number attached to every Pokémon when it's generated that cannot be changed, commonly referred to as the encryption constant. If you convert that number from hexadecimal to decimal, and it ends in 0, 0, the Pokémon will evolve into its rare form. Because this number can range from 0, 0 to 99, you have a 1 in 100 chance of any Dunsparce or Tandemouse evolving into the rare forms. And they can be obtained from anywhere. From the wild, from eggs, from outbreaks, from raids, and even in Dunsparce's case, via transfer, as soon as Pokémon gets their Mudsdale and Cart situation sorted out. So if you want to hunt one of these, you have to keep catching and evolving new ones until you get the rare form, which could take, on average, 100 attempts. But some people have gotten lucky and gotten it first try. Spoiler alert, I'm not one of those people. So where does my story begin with this? I'm actually a longtime Dunsparce fan, and I have the My Pokemon Ranch file to prove it. I was actually over the moon when I saw the Dunsparce for the first time. The Dunsparce? Dunsparce got an evolution? Dunsparce was already perfect, so they just made it even better. You should also know I'm a bit of a Dunsparce, who gets the biggest thrill out of shiny hunting at the full odds without giving any additional shiny rolls to my encounters with something like the shiny charm or sparkling power. So I went into this hunt knowing good and well I was looking for a 1 in 4096 and a 1 in 100 chance simultaneously. A 1 in 409,600 encounter. But with how blazing fast the encounters in this game are, I wasn't too worried about that. So first things first, we're gonna want to make a sandwich. In game, not in real life. Yet. Ideally one that will give us level 3 title power, encounter power, which guarantees we'll find Dunsparce into Dunsparce in the area where I'll be hunting, and Humungo power. You can find recipes for this combination for every type on my website. But bear in mind these are multiplayer exclusive recipes, which actually works out in our favor here, because if the second game uses the one Herba Mystica required to do this and we reset, we can use that same Herba Mystica over and over again without having to farm a new one for every Dunsparce we find. Then we're going to take things to the Crystal Caves of Area Zero, which will practically be Dunsparce City up in there. Dunsparce are naturally skittish, so they'll instantly dig away and despawn themselves whenever they see you, making way for more Dunsparce to spawn. This is actually pretty great, and Shinies don't despawn because they're built different. Wild the Dunsparce on the other hand has a different defense mechanism and sometimes goes low poly, but never naturally despawns, so we have to walk away from it or knock it out. Wild the Dunsparce is also a hindrance in another way, in the sense that the spawners down here will never spawn a wild three-segmented Dunsparce. Only the two-segment form can be found. So we'll want to mostly hope to see the little guys. But these Dunsparce are pretty rare anyway, we can't expect to see too many of them over the course of this hunt, right? There are lots of places in Area Zero where you can hunt it. Like this cliff. The good old rock. This area outside the lab is actually pretty sweet. And my preferred spot, this circular thing. Where you can just walk in a circle, spawning and despawning Dunsparce without having to worry about any of them spawning in a wall, or having to ever actually do any sort of auto-battling to despawn the Dunsparce. But this hunt starts somewhere kind of different here. Back in February, I was finishing up my Violet Badge Quest playthrough on stream, and I just so happened to randomly stumble upon this guy. 
the first phase of the hunt. The Dunn Sparks. Yeah, I'm talking about Rumble Weekend questions. No way! No way! No way! <laughs> there is a shiny doubt here! Phase one for the three segment. No way, dude. <laughs> Since I've already used this in a video, I'll take this time to explain what we do every time we find one. We teach the Dunsparce the move Hyper Drill, then we feed it a rare candy to level it up once, and then we see if it's two segment or three segment. Looks to be the standard two segment, but it is still beautiful. I'm just gonna name it Area Zero. This is like Area Zero of the Dunsparce hunt. No mark and it's clam. Calm nature. Then in March on my Scarlet, the real hunt began. Here's the compilation. Like if, if you're into the story and stuff, I feel like that's reason enough to keep going with the frustrating gameplay. And there's Shiny Dunsparce. Yay! There's number two. It's running away. It's sweating. It is perspiring. Or maybe that's just the waterfall that's right above it. It knows what it will evolve into and it's like, oh gosh. Or maybe it's just like, is that absolute box? <laughs> <laughs> Starstruck. I'm gonna get bold. Docile. And it's got a mark. It's the Dawn Mark. The early riser. Two segments. Yeah. It's a really, really cool cemetery. It's behind like the oldest Catholic cathedral. And there's a shiny Dunsparce, number three. Hey. This one's gonna be named Cemetery. It's on the graveyard shift. All right, let's see if Cemetery's got a mark. No mark. Mild nature. Do you think Girder knows how to build a house? It does in Mystery Dungeon. It builds your house and gates to infinity. If you caught a Girder, could you- Two segments. Sow it a plot of land and task it with going out and building you a house? Just... It's fun, there's like, there's SR- Shiny Dunsparce! That's another one! Uh -huh. That was only 172 later on the same sandwich. On to phase five. Unless this is the one. What should I name this one? Google. Dallas, what's your nature guess? Bold. You got it right. Two segments. Actually, I might have seen like a like maybe an hour of Shrek two during class uh, once. It was one of those days where we had a substitute, so we started a movie. Then the next day, the teacher was back, so we didn't finish it. And there's Shiny Dunsparce number five. I'll name it Shrek 2. Don't fall off the cliff, Shrek 2. No mark. Sassy natured. It's about to evolve into Shrek 3. There's the logic there. Shrek 2 segments. How old am I? Um, I'm 5. Actually, I'm 6. This is Dunsparce number 6. 409 encounters. 2 segments. It's got a mark. Gentle. Takes plenty of siestas. It's the charismatic, the radiant. Yeah, nine days from now, it'll be the 13 year anniversary of me starting this channel. Which is nuts. And there's a shiny Dunsparce. 5,926. That is two segments. Being, okay, it's timid with no marks. Oh, is that another shiny Dunsparce? Yeah, two-in-one sandwich. No mark, bold nature. And it's somewhat of a clown. Whoa, it's the ring. And it is two-segment. It's, it's definitely like a post-time skip sort of thing, for sure. And there's a shiny Dunsparce. No mark, naughty nature. Somewhat vain. That is two segments. I think you get the point by now, so I'm gonna stop showing the evolutions unless something funny happens. Or if it doesn't evolve at all. I had an incredibly delayed reaction to this one, and I can't believe I almost missed it. Oh, shiny to Dunsparce! Hello! Um, no chance of this one being three segment, but it's very cool. It is also perspiring like crazy. Look at the sweat coming off of this thing, it's insane. Just gonna name him Sweaty. It's got a mark. Careful. Rare mark. No way. <laughs> That's crazy. Rare mark shiny. I've never gotten a rare mark shiny before. Sweaty the Recluse. It just sounds like I'm roasting him with that name. 
What's up, Devin? Shiny Dunsparce! Alright, naughty nature, no mark. I essentially thank you for the gift sub to Germa. And oh! The gift of Dunsparce to Germa! This Dunsparce is gonna be named Germa985. No mark, jolly natured. On March 16th, I had the one confirmed Dunsparce fail of the entire hunt, when I totally missed this one in the corridor while reading someone's resub message. So thanks a lot for subscribing. I didn't count this as a phase though, because if I was offline, I never would have noticed it in the first place. And just a minute later, this happened. Oh yeah, that one spawned off in the distance. I totally missed that one. I was just turning and reading chat. Yeah, that was that was a tricky one. Really easy one to miss. I didn't walk right past it or anything, but I didn't miss this one. Same sandwich. <laughs> All right, I'm starting my project to catch one in every ball. I'm gonna catch this one in a dusk. We got a dusk sparse. It's got a mark. The sociable. Bro Sidon goes through some experiences with this song on Rumble Weekend whenever he starts droughting. I'll pull out the Burger King song after this one. The Whopper song, more specifically. Shiny Dunsparce! Chuck Testa! Chuck Testa's gonna be caught in a Pokeball. He's hardy with no marks. Is it gonna be three segments? Nope. Chuck Testa. How many hours of editing would I say I put in during the average week? It really depends on what I'm working on. Oh, Shiny Dunsparce! That one wands. Alright, let's check out Woodjup. Just a nice little modest Woodjup once. Minecraft full inventory? Oh man. I can't imagine how long that takes. There's so many Minecraft items I don't even know now. Like, I'm working off of limited 2013 Minecraft knowledge. Oh, Shiny Dunsparce! Minecraft! <laughs> Put you in the video? Alright, Leroy. You're in the video. No mark? Sassy nature. Uh, there are just YouTube YouTube videos. If you get something that goes out to a lot of people's home pages, there are just people who inevitably don't like that. Like this shiny Dunsparce right here. No mark? Careful nature. Will I do a Nuzlocke? Someday I'll eventually do one. Whenever the time feels right, whenever I have the right idea for one. Oh, <laughs> then it's apparently the time is right for a Dunsparce now. I'm gonna name this one Nuzlocke. No mark, brave natured. I need to look into uh, the Poke Locker. Um, I mean, Poke Walker <laughs> lock removal stuff sometime. Like the Yellow Forest Flying Pikachu, the Surfing Pikachu, Spiritomb. Uh, <laughs> there might be a Dunsparce, because shiny Dunsparce. I'll name this one Poke Walker. Or Pokey Locker, honestly. There we go, there's the capture. Docile with the uncommon mark. The sociable. Uh, there was a, few, a little bit of the Alola soundtrack, though, that they played in the background of a live broadcast once. So we have pretty clean versions of a lot of that. And that's a shiny! That's a shiny inverted Dunsparce! Jack MH, thank you for the prime. That was fast, just 574. <laughs> Wow, inverted Fluttermane looks really good. No mark, and it is naughty natured. It would be nice, though, if we still had the counter to buy coins in Heart Gold. That's the fatal flaw of Voltorb Flip. Wait, Crystal Clear has it? Ooh, I'll have to try that sometime. Oh, Shiny Dunsparce! That's how you mix me up. No mark, brave nature. Oh, shiny Dunsparce. Again during this song. Microchip 2. Relaxed nature. Or attack. I can't believe how often Amoongus is used in competitive teams. It's so good. It's been around for years. It's great. No, it's, it's so <laughs> Shiny crazy. Dunsparce. Whoa. Might have to wait a couple turns to use that. I got a first turn. <laughs> No mark, bold nature. That, that's your nature, Doc. Bold! Dog. You have a protector. I know, I'm very lucky to have Cheetos around. Shiny uh, Dunsparce! Yay! 
I'll name this one Cheetos. Repeat ball. Another fan favorite ball. And by fan favorite, there are people out there who hate this thing for some reason. All right, Cheetos. Impish with a mark. The Dusk mark. Cheetos the Dozy. Cheetosy. Nice, Dozy. Shiny Dunsparce. There we go, that's phase 25. 25. We are over 100. Yeah, collectively over 100 now between me and Dallas. I think I am on Luxury Ball right now. This one's gonna live a life of luxury. Sassy Nature. It's got a mark. The Cloudy Mark, the Cloud Watcher. One thing that I do sorely miss though, is uh, Amazing Rares. Those were great, in Vivid Voltage. Oh, and there's a shiny Dunsparce on the edge of a cliff. I'm concerned about this one. Um, oh, no! No, 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 no! <laughs> okay, I saved the game, though. So maybe it'll be there when I load it back. Oh! Dude, it made it all the way down! It survived the fall! <laughs> How? That was amazing, for sure. No, no, wait! What? <laughs> okay. Yeah, it deserves a life of luxury after falling off a cliff like that, and oh my gosh, the... the water. Amazinf. Okay. It's named Amazinf. It's Amazinf that this one did. It's a hasty nature. YouTube never sends you anything over Google Drive. That's the thing, like... Why would they do that? I wouldn't be surprised if someone wanted to like look a little bit further into things like knowing not to enter anything on forms Oh, and there's a done sparse. I knew this song would bring us one 21,416 our longest phase so far. I was worried they were locked for me or something for a minute here Let's Check out Pikachu one hour no mark jolly nature. That's pretty good for a done sparse Pikachu I thought you were the chosen one, Pikachu. Mango Pepsi. That's great propel. Nose. 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 Give her crack a Pepsi cold can of great propel. <laughs> 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 uh, shit, I just gave it a little bit. Shiny Dunsparce. Shiny Dunsparce. Oh, at the same time? Mm -hmm. Nice. We're, we're in sync. It's got a mark. Uncommon. Sociable. And it's bold. If this is the three segment, Gatorade is legally required to start selling canned Propel, and they, they it's two segment. Shiny Dunsparce! That's a big one, too. There's the capture. Really creative name for this one. No Mark Impish. Shiny Dunsparce! That was a quick one. After that, uh... I've been having a series of droughts lately, so it's nice to find another one fast. No mark? Quiet? On to the next. Shiny Dust Bars. Two-in-one sandwich. I was getting tired there for a second. Man. It's been a long day. But third Dust Bars of the day, second of this sandwich. Living it up. Nabbed it. No mark. Lonely. For some reason my microphone was muted during this recording, but at least you can hear the call's reaction to it. Alright, dude. Shiny Dubs Bars. On the rocks. On the rocks, please. <laughs> thrush, yeah. Into the thrush now. AJ has thrush. Shiny Dunsparce! Mission complete for the night. <laughs> Mashing the L button for crazy camera angles. Whoa, we got it in a heavy ball! No mark, and it looks like it is lonely. It's such a weird decision that they would, like, make it so the Meowth doesn't talk. <laughs> Shiny Dunsparce! That one was actually under odds. Alright, last ball I used was Heavy Ball. So it looks like it's Love Ball time. 
No mark. Timid by nature. I'll take a lucky sip of Baja Blast here. Not it. Can we get an inverted color phase eventually? I've already done one, actually. I found a Dunsparce with, uh, I believe, green on it. Oh, and there's a Dunsparce with pink on it. There's phase 35. <laughs> Flatten it and roll it into three segments. Yeah, knead it like dough. All right, Moonball Dunsparce now. No mark, serious nature. Somewhat of a clown, but also serious. Maybe it's a clown that's very serious about his job. And it is a serious clown, because that's two segments. What do I use to capture my Switch? I have an Elgato HD60S. Oh, and there's the shiny green. There's green. Shiny Dunsparce. I'm going to name this Elgato HD60S. This one's going to be caught in a dream ball. Naughty nature. No mark. <laughs> We're inside of a lava lamp. Evolving this thing now. And that is a two segment. It's probably not that inspiring. Yeah, this. Uh, we have a feeling he ghost had it ghost written by someone, to be completely honest. <laughs> oh, there's, speaking of ghost writing, a, a ghost shiny dust bars. It's on the edge of the cliff, too. Nice. Ooh, beast ball. Critical capture. Caught it. Nice. It did not take very long. Took four tries to catch Ghost Rider. Wow. And I got the live reaction audio of uh, Oakley's Machop in the middle of it, too. No, no, no! <laughs> that'll, that'll be going in the compilation. But now I have one in every ball, except the Master Ball. That's available in the game right now. Fun little side goal to have to, to catch each one. Yeah, I've been catching mine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it really doesn't. Like, I could get it right now. Yeah, you need to be done so soon. It does not matter at all. Shiny does bars! <laughs> I'm gonna name this one Dunk Sparks. That was a quick phase. That was 65 encounters. Yeah, it might have only only been 65 in the sandwich. It's hardy natured. I would have guessed last. No mark. Mr. Let's Play would have guessed last. Shiny Dunsparce! Wow. <laughs> Two in one sandwich. I gotta name this one Cole's Cash. Not much. Sassy nature. Mr. Let's Play would have guessed Lax. No, not on this one. Out of all the regions, the game that I think would make the the next best Legends game is uh, Unova. With the Abyssal Ruins, the whole... Okay, down in the Abyssal Ruins, there's mention of a king. And uh, it's a piece of, of text that can't be translated with the Abyssal Ruins alphabet. It uses like some special like glyphs that we don't have a direct translation for. And there's a shiny Dunsparce. Hello. Second encounter of the sandwich. That's nice. And that king's name is a mystery. No mark. Gentle by nature. Oh yeah, Strive has some fantastic themes already. All around the board. I like. I think I like Maze theme the most. Oh, shiny Dunsparce. And the nature. Modest. Uh, Alright, this is a Pikmin 4 leak. Green Olimar. Definitely not the, the stock icon for Green Olimar in Smash. He's gonna be a uh, a new amiibo exclusive character. Grolimar. He's called Green Olimar, not because of the color green, but because he's like very environmentally friendly. I've heard uh, there's a planned burning of a lot of Pikmin 4 copies when the game comes out because people deem it woke due to the existence of Green Olimar. But the silly thing is, like, Pikmin's always been about, like, nature and stuff, and, like, I don't think that they, they, they get the point. <laughs> he rides a bike through space, and it's just taken him four Pikmin games to get to Earth. Instead of the riding the Hokote rocket. Right, ready? It's so silly. It's so silly. Just like this, uh, this Dunsparce. Name it Woke Olimar? <laughs> sure. What do you do to get uh, Olimar up in the morning? I think there was recently a gym, le gym leader theme one. Shiny Dunsparce. I'm gonna name this one Mewmore. 
Phase 43. Let's see if it's marked. I'm gone like 10 without a mark now. This one has a mark. The Dawn Mark, the Early Riser. Johnny Dunsparce. Oh, that was right at the end of the sandwich, too. Is that two in one sandwich? I think it was. No mark. Bashful. That's it. That's two segments. Johnny Dunsparce. I'm gonna name this one's phone. After the Sphere Cone. You know it doesn't make sense. Yeah, the this comes from Sphere. I just like calling it the Spone more, because the keel doesn't work as well. No mark, careful. Fire Emblem's a great series to go through. The games are all very different, too. Like, if one Fire Emblem game leaves a sour taste in your mouth, make sure you at least give another one a try. Because there's a very different feel to most of them. Some of them are, like, games that you can freely grind. Others are tried-and-true strategy games, and others are shiny Dunsparce that I'm gonna name Fire Emblem. It looks like we're losing the Zaxby's menu, so... Uh, if you want to order something, order it real quick here. I really suggest the Nibbler's Meal. No mark, careful nature, alert to sounds. Who did I marry in Fates? Felicia. You can't rematch the gym leaders after the, uh, the first rematch you do either. They're kind of just gone. You can't even talk to them. Like, in the past Pokemon games, you could go into the gym and, like, just have, like, a random conversation with the gym leaders. But they're just missing in action now. <laughs> That's another thing I'm hoping that the DLC addresses. Crown Tundra actually fixed some of that stuff with Sword and Shield with the, uh... Oh, look, look! There's a, there's a Dunsparce that I'll name Gym Leader. Galarian Star Tournament. It's got a mark. Relaxed with the uncommon mark. Oh my god. Did that become better or worse for you? Shiny Dunsparce. Oh, yeah, nice, uh, Friday morning sparse. Friday morning. Has a mark. The Dawn mark. Friday morning, the early riser. That's perfect. Shiny Dawn Sparks. Two in one sandwich. Less than a thousand, too. It's been a minute since I've had a sub 1000 phase. No mark. Alright, hamburger. Hamburger time. Let's see if it's the one. On to phase 50! I love the quest soundtrack. Haven't given it a full listen in a very long time either. Oh, is that a shiny Dunsparce? I can name this one Quest. No mark, Brave Nature. That's not it. That's not it! That's not it! Whenever I think of the Garugamesh guy, I just think of, like, how Mux, Diamond, and Pearl Sprite is perfectly doing the exact same pose as the Garugamesh guy. Shiny Dunsparce! I'm gonna name this one Garugamesh. Phase 51. No mark. Sassy nature. Oh, Shiny Dunsparce! Can't stop catching them all. Bold natured and with no mark. Had a nice 14 mile bike ride this morning. Because it's just really nice outside. And look at that, there's a nice, uh, there's a nice shiny Dunsparce. I'm gonna name this 14 mile. Jolly Nature, no mark. On Serebi at first, when the event first dropped, it didn't have a shiny locked page there. Oh, and there's something that's not shiny locked. Two in one sandwich, phase 54. Naive Nature, no mark. Charlie Horse, he's a cartoon character, a cartoon horse that visits you if you start going swimming too soon after eating. Oh, there's Charlie Horse right there! That's the name of this Dunsparce. 18,172, phase 55. Alright, mark check. No mark, docile nature, loves to eat. Dunsparce definitely likes something about tofu, rice, and horseradish. If I can uh, get them to appear in these numbers. Oh, there's a shiny. I'm just gonna name this one Tofu. No mark, Adamant Nature. I heard that there's like uh, some northern lights possibly going on tonight. Shiny Dunsparce! Nice, I'll name this one Northern Lights. 
Aurora Borealis, at this time of year, localized entirely within this copy of Pokemon Scarlet and its jolly nature? If I find the shiny, will I eat a tofu rice monstrosity sandwich? Yes. Uh, it looks like Fire Piplup in the chat earlier uh, created the sandwich tonight with a certain recipe and is sending me a document with the recipe written out. And said it was delicious too. So, there's a chance that I'll be making a really good sandwich with these ingredients. And just genuinely enjoying it in front of y'all on stream. And the best part is that it will still be a combination of tofu, rice, and horseradish. And there's a shiny Dunsparce. Super early into the sandwich. Alright, I'm gonna guess relaxed. Yeah, everything being broken down into 30 minute chunks can simultaneously make me want to hunt more, but also make me want to, like, hunt less sometimes, too. Like, if I just, if I have less than 30 minutes of time, I'm not gonna make another sandwich. Oh, there's another shiny Dunsparce. I thought that was the crystal reflection for sure. Phase 59. Lax natured. Shiny Dunsparce! My name this one Yosemite. Alright, let's see if this is the one. No mark, adamant nature. That's pretty good. Not the Oddish line in Gen 3, no. Oh, there's another one. We got two in one sandwich. I'm gonna name this McDonald's chair. No mark, hearty nature. I've definitely gotten that before from people that are like, wait, you're actually on the screen? <laughs> because of how cluttered things could get sometimes. I am a Coco, thank you for four months. What does shiny Dunsparce look like? Uh, let me demonstrate with this one, right here. <laughs> I thought it looked a little different and I was like, oh no, that's not it. But no, it was. <laughs> Phase 62. That was so scripted. That was so scripted. Hey Matt, what does three segment shiny to Dunsparce look like? Alright, I like the energy. Let's see. Jolly nature. No, uh, mark. Let me tell you right now, it's gonna look like this. Oh my gosh, that's not it! <laughs> Oh, shiny to Dunsparce. My second one. It's trying to slither away. Where's that thing going? Oh, this was right after 300,000 encounters, too. Naughty nature. What's up, Claire? Oh, there's another one. This one's actually a Dunsparce. Phase 64. No mark. Impish nature. How slow is the painting compared to battle videos? Uh, it does add the extra journey you take. And you also have to kind of like stagger your interaction with the painting. Oh, I, I, I'm in the rock. I am... <laughs> this has not happened before. I've never been stuck in here. I can't ride go right on. <laughs> Do I just have to fly to get out? Hold on. Yeah, I'm, I'm in a DVD nightmare. Hold on, if there's a Dunsparce close enough... Oh, almost. Hold on, let's keep trying. I want to escape this, this like, naturally. Yeah, if I get stuck in the float state, it'll just teleport me out of there. Very true. I'm out! I'm out! Don't leave the helpful sparse. Alright. Alright, y'all. We'll, we'll catch the savior. It's gonna catch these hands. Should've helped me out the first time. Every action has consequences, and a lot of people in my chat told me that knocking out that Dunsparce was going to curse me on this hunt. And I think they were right, because of the luck that I had for the next few phases after that. Yeah, the evolution's predetermined for Dunsparce. From the second it gets generated, it will always have- it will always have the same fate. It's just like Wurmple. Whether it evolves into Silcoon or Cascoon. Green! There it is! <laughs> 20,496! Trainer Red, thank you for the prime. It has a mark, the upbeat mark! Green, the chipper! That's a personality mark, that's rare. 
Oh, shiny dot sparse. There we go. Another pretty long phase there. Larry is timid natured. It's been going pretty well. No shiny sparse yet tonight. There's a shiny sparse. Hold on, I didn't save before this one. Why is it necessary to save before the shiny? In the event that it evolves into the three segment, I want to reset the game and catch it in a master ball. Alright, bold natured. Oh man, look at that. Start of the sandwich, another wild to dunce sparse. My third one. Phase 68. Big guy. Hope this one's a three segment. We'll see. <laughs> Fingers crossed. <laughs> What's up, Quake? No mark. Timid by nature. Man, whenever a da Dunsparce and a Dunsparce spawn on top of each other, I gotta look so closely at it. <gasps> Shiny Dunsparce! Oh my gosh. 28,521. Phase 69 is over. Okay, hardy nature, no mark. Man, imagine if it... <laughs> if I have another phase that goes even deeper than that. Like, what if this one goes to, like... 40,000? Oh, man, are you kidding me? <laughs> it's not going to 40,000, but it's our fourth wild to Dunsparce. Our fourth big one. No mark. Impish. Quick to flee. Well, I'm glad it didn't run away. Oh, shiny Dawn Sparse. 11,950 for that one. That's phase 71. Hardy? Oh, there's one. About time, dude. Offline the next morning. Just cleaned up the layout a little bit. I have a slideshow now instead of everything on the layout at once because it was getting a bit much. We're starting with a clean slate. Bold. No mark. On to phase 73. We're primed for two in one sandwich now, so let's make that happen. Oh, look! We got the, uh, the money amounts stuck on screen. I think it might have been how I mashed buttons after the evolution screen or something. McQueen Lover Ernesto. Thank you for five months. Appreciate that. Ka-chow. Oh, hey. Hey, that, that's a shiny. I might have to name this Ka-chow. No mark. Sassy nature. Man, taking my AP exams in high school was weird. We went out to like this this part of the, the high school campus that was like a designated training room for the football players. But that's where they, like in that little clubhouse area, that's where they had the proctors take us for the AP tests. So we sat down in this room that smelled like gym and socks. And we would just like sit down in there. Oh, hey, look, there's another shiny. I'm going to name it Jim and Socks. Yeah, what's up, Blue Bob? Got our second of the night already. Oh my gosh. That's not it. Yeah, this video is going to be something. It's going to be a massive shiny compilation, basically. It's just going to keep... Oh, there's a shiny. Hey, this is going to be in the video. This is... Hey, th this is part of the video. Hi, YouTube. Let's see what it is. Oh, there's a Dunsparce. Nice, right towards the end of the sandwich. Number 76. I got the camera at a different angle this morning because I forgot to put it on top of my laptop. It's got a mark. The slump mark. The worn out. That's a, that's a cool personality mark. Someone in our class took one of the shrimp poppers from the cafeteria and um, stuck it behind a TV in one of the classrooms. So like a couple hours later, Oh, there's it. There it is. It's the end of the phase. That's the shrimp popper right there. Finally, phase 77. My gosh, dude. 
Anyway, the guy put the shrimp popper behind the TV and the teacher got angry. She got so mad that she went to every class and was like, no one's leaving this school until I find out who put the shrimp popper behind the TV. And no one fessed up and everyone just went home. I guess she realized she was kind of on a power trip at the time. Then two years later in sixth grade, one of my good friends after school, like he was just sitting there with us and we were waiting for like the cars to come and pick us up. He was just like, I put the shrimp popper behind the TV. It was the most like anticlimactic timing and everything. It was so nonchalant. And like we instantly knew what he was talking about too because she was so mad that day. And the shrimp popper behind the TV is not three segment. Oh, there's a sparse. That's a sparse. 78. No mark, calm nature. Nope, there's only trash here. I did one stream for the Arbor Week charity event, and I decided for every shiny Dunsparce I found that night, I would donate $50 to the Rainforest Trust. Here's what I found. But yeah, on the full odds file especially, there's certain ones where you just gotta reset if you encounter one. And there's a Dunsparce! There goes, uh, $50 to the Rainforest Trust for me. Dunsparce donated $50 to Rainforest Trust. That was me. I'm done, Sparks. Sassy nature. Because I guess the German Naruto opening is only German in name only. It's it's all in English with a little bit of da a Japanese in the um, chorus. Oh, there there's a there's a Naruto. Aussie Naruto. Australian Naruto. Donated fifty dollars. Oh, there's a shiny Dunsparce. Adamant Nature, no mark. Who's this Absol donating money? Who's that? Sounds like a loser. Your only Cleavor raid was shiny? I've had pretty good luck with the Hisuian raid days so far. I did Braviary, I did, um... Avalug. Oh, shiny Dunsparce. This one's trying to go between the rocks. No mark, Modest Nature. Come on, Dunsparce. You can do it. You can grow that third segment. But you chose not to. You've let me down. What would it, what would happen if you had two shiny charms? I don't think it would, like... In, in a theoretical universe where you have, like, 20 shiny charms on your file and your key items, I don't think it would do additional rolls. But we don't need any additional rolls for this one right here. There's Dunsparce number 83. It would just check for shiny charm once. I feel like I'm starting to get, like, normal Dunsparce luck again. Okay, we'll combine some concepts here. We're listening to, like, 30 minutes of kazoo music, and we were talking about the shiny charms. So this Dunsparce is the extremely rare kazoo charm. It gives you two additional kazoos every time you use a kazoo. Rumble weekend on the 27th of May. So we'll, we'll go from like a Rumble Weekend into a Shiny Dunsparce into Safari Week. <laughs> no mark. Careful. Now I still go back and I like... I was watching uh, my first playthrough again and I just remembered how much I loved the story of playing through this. Like this game was so magical. Um, like exploring the region for the first time. Just getting lost and like challenging things in any order and finding Shiny Dunsparce. And she is, uh, lax with no mark. Oh, there's a Dunsparce. 2018 encounters. Phase 86. Let's check out Brian's swag. No mark. Bashful nature. Chop suey by system of a down. <laughs> and a shiny Dunsparce. Gonna name this one Chop suey. The table? No, yeah. Table. Table, 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 table. I do love the version of the song where every word gets changed to table. Table! There we go. No mark, hasty nature. I have the Celebi movie on VHS. Oh, and that- I have a uh, Dunsparce on, um, Switch. I still none with the mark recently. We've had bad mark luck. Any Mountain Dews I haven't tried? Literally the latest one, Summer Freeze. Um, Pepsi distributor in my town is just really slow. 
But not the Dunsparce distributor. Phase 89. Today I learned that there are two different quick trip gas stations. Still no mark. Bold natured. Have I seen a non shiny three segment tonight? No, I haven't seen a single one. Because, uh, three segment the Dunsparce don't spawn in the wild. But, uh, regular shiny Dunsparce do. And we can evolve them into the three segment. I've seen someone lobbying for the name Sushi for a while. Still no mark, but it's mild nature. That's the nature that I guess. Do I have any shiny alphas? I have a few. I got a shiny Bweasel day one. It was minutes after, like, I, I asked Dallas, who I was chatting with in the call at the time, do you know if the alphas can be shiny? And then, like, <laughs> I, I heard a bring, and there was a shiny Bweasel, and there's a shiny Dunsparce! That's an alpha Dunsparce. Though it does not look like it's maximum size. Naughty nature? No mark. At least once a week I get an email notification, or a Google Drive notification really on my phone that says YouTube copyright team has shared um, copyright takedown notice document with you. And I always just instantly ignore that notification and I go to the uh, thing for it and block it. And there's another shiny Dunsparce. Only 404 encounters. Dunsparce not found. Gentle Nature, no mark. 404, third segment, not found. I feel like you're hurting your efficiency if you're multi-hunting this game, because you're probably walking past shinies. Oh, like that one. Shiny Dunsparce. Alright, will Phase 93 be the one? Gentle Nature, no mark. I'll drum on my table, hopefully it won't be too loud. Two segment. Smug Leaf, yeah. Like, it, it's just what the community called it for fun. But, like, there were people who were like, okay, no, it is Smug Leaf. That, that's gotta be its name. There's no other name that it could possibly be. Oh, there's a Smug Leaf! During the anthem at the end of stream. It sparkled on the rough. Smug Leaf rough. Careful nature, no mark. One thing I haven't been showing is every time I found a Sparse, I was taking it to this lady in Mesa Goza to check to see if it was the maximum size, since we're running the 1 in 64 chance of getting that with Humongo Power level 3. <gasps> it's Jumbo! Oh my gosh, we got the Jumbo! <laughs> it took 94 Dunsparce! 1 in 64! Maximum size! This might be the world's biggest Smug Leaf Rough! It gets a mark. There we go. Well, that took uh, a lot longer than 64 phases. But now we have a mark. We have the Great. Smug Leaf Rough. The Great. Huge. Still not the largest of its species, though, because it's just two segment. And I, I'm caught in the middle of a shiny Dunsparce. Well, this one's naive. Shiny Dunsparce. I got the two camera angles going too. We're pretty close to Tears of the Kingdom. No mark, lonely nature. Will this be Tot K or not okay? It's got two segments. Another one. Same sandwich. Alright, let's see what this mark one is. No mark, lax. We're moving on to phase 98. And replaying through Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, I don't think my opinions change too much, unfortunately. Uh, but Shiny Dunsparce. Gonna name it Oris. It's got a mark, calm. Lunchtime, it's the peckish. It's gotta eat. <laughs> Shiny Dunsparce. That's 99. Imagine if we get it on 99. How poetic that would be. Let's see if it has 99 segments. It's only got two. We're going into the triple digits. Oh, there's a shiny sparse. Two in one sandwich. Phase 100. That's the 100th one. Dunsparce 100. 
the pinnacle of power for a Dunsparce. No, Mark. Naive nature. I was naive to start this hunt thinking I would get it fast. Dunsparce number 100. We have a 1 in 100 chance of getting this. And the way statistics work, that means that this has to be the one, right? See, we did it. We, we got a, a two segment. Love ball, iron leaves. It's the perfect combo. And it only worked out just perfectly because of the uh, Valentine's Day event they had where if you put in a code into Mystery Gift, you got like two free love balls and then you get a shiny Dunsparce. Phase 101. Let's check Valentina. No mark, docile nature. Oh man. Wild to done number five. This time, tiny edition. It's like kind of just poking out of the ground right there, peeking at me. Let's see if it's got a mark. Let's see what nature it is. And of course, check to see if it's the tiniest one. Timid. No mark. It wasn't timid enough to uh, not show up. That's for sure. Dunsparce. Not a Dunsparce. <laughs> But it's about to be. Got a mark. Lunchtime. The Peckish. That's the mark that I got last time. Dunsparce! Dunsparce! Yeah! Little guy! Next phase. Very creative nickname. Just out of space. Brave nature. Nope. Shiny! I'm gonna name this Hickory. After Hickory Diggory Doc, who's been uh, gifting a sub for every single Dunspar so far. Dunspars! Bashful, no mark. Ooh, sparse. There we go. I'm back home right now for the weekend. Wanted to do just a couple Dunspar sandwiches. Naughty with no mark. Hyper drill. On to the next. I'm just thinking about a, a Dunspar with like a full head of hair. Shiny to Dunspar. Number six. I have a full team of these now. <laughs> Let's see if it's the three segment. Dude. No mark, sassy nature. Nice, Getty. Living the Zoomer dream there. Shiny Dunsparce. <laughs> Gonna name this one Zoomer dream. Zoomer dream. Whoa, what? <laughs> I, I guess I can't enter that <laughs> as its name. It's just Zoomer. <laughs> Jolly nature. That's what the point of the mask is. That would have been an incredible last thing to sing before the three segment appeared, but looks like that's not what's happening tonight. Steve is like the most stolen from Shiny Hunter <laughs> with his footage. Oh, and there's a Shiny Dunsparce! I'm also stealing this from Steve, Sonics right now. Calm natured. I'd say Steve's pretty calm. Dunsparce! I was just starting to lean back and relax for a second there, but nah, Shiny Dunsparce. Could be playing Tears of the Kingdom right now, but... I want to get the Sparse, man. Hardy has a mark. Uncommon. Sociable. You, you reach a point whenever you're finding, like, so many things that you're, like, just trying to go for the high score for the number of encounters. But we're not going to hit that with this one, because Phase 112, just under 700 encounters. There's a Shiny Dunsparce. Modest, no mark. Shiny Dunsparce! Oh man! <laughs> it's got a mark. The cloudy mark. The cloud watcher. Snowman 5150, this is all on you. It is two segment. And unfortunately for that reason, Snowman 5150 is permanently banned. Maybe Brassius wasn't the best example. Shiny Dunsparce. <laughs> Careful nature, no mark. Yeah, Pokemon's character designs are so good. 
whether it be the monsters themselves or like the human characters they've been really knocking it out of the park with the human designs these past few generations shiny to dun sparks are you kidding me less than a hundred encounters later my seventh wild to dun no mark naive natured rough rough <laughs> Rough! Let's see what this Anthem Shiny brought us. Quiet Nature. No Mark. Shiny. I accidentally turned on the Humongo Power Sandwich, so this one's gonna be big. Only 484 encounters as well. Alright, let's see if this big oopsie is my greatest mistake. Bashful Nature, no Mark. Two segment. Big oopsie. Oh, there's one. Bold nature, no mark. There's a sparse. Rash, no mark. I think that was a while back, though. I don't remember if that's actually still the case or not. Shiny Dunsparce! Alright. No mark on that one. Yeah, I've heard Lori, too, before. I was like, who's Lori? I thought they were referring to, like, a lady named Lori. Not a shopping cart. Oh, but there's a... There's a Dunsparce might be named Lori. We got it during the Atlas Earth experience, too. <laughs> this Dunsparce's income, the glow-up is visible. It's about to go nuts. Quiet nature, no mark. Working with Mustard. Oh, there's a Dunsparce. I'll name this one Mustard. Alright. It's got a mark. Lax. Sleepy. Shiny Dunsparce. Alright, Crypto Luigi is gone. And so are Macargo with teeth and the money. Calm Nature. Oh, there's a sparse. Thought that was a uh, Shino in the light. Just some brackets for number 124. Lax nature, no mark. Shiny to done number eight. So fast after the last one. Are you kidding me? 31 <laughs> encounters. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. Why, why must I suffer? <laughs> that was the fastest phase. That was less than a minute! <laughs> Modest, no mark, it likes to fight. I'd like to fight it. Shiny Dunsparce. That's three and one. Maybe I, I'm not suffering as much. That was so quick. My phases have been so nice to me lately. I can just feel a long one coming on, though. Alright, since I got three and one sandwich, let's see if we get three segments. It's got a mark. Lunchtime. Peckish. It's almost lunchtime in real life here. No. Four in one? Four in one sandwich? Oh my gosh, that is insane. Finally got my four in one. This is the most shinies I've ever gotten in one sandwich before. Careful nature, no mark. Still nothing. What went down, really, was uh, they did a raid in us uh, in Scarlet and Violet where they introduced two of the Paradox Pokemon, Great Tusk and Iron Treads, to raids for the first time. And they just didn't account for the fact that raids will give out Pokemon, like, materials afterwards. Oh, and there's a Shiny Dunsparce. And uh, it gives out these items that shouldn't exist called none. And it crashes the game. Alright, let's see if this is the one. Modest Nature, no mark. I'm missing just one nature of Dunsparce now. Quirky. I need a quirky Dunsparce to have all 25. I feel like Mecha in general is pretty mature. Oh, Shiny Dunsparce. This one's a Mecha. 3251. No mini mark yet. I'm still phasing for that. Modest nature. I, wasn't the last one modest too? We're getting into Dallas's Hunt's territory after this one. Unless this is the one, and it's not. 
I remember going to Boston for PAX East in 2014, and I was just amazed at how, like, Boston has Dunkin' Donuts on every corner, shiny dunce bars! You can't walk, like, 20 steps in Boston without seeing a Dunkin' somewhere. Dunkin' Sparse. Sassy nature? Moment of truth. This this is the time where we see if we surpass Dallas's 130 phase hunt. It'd be so crazy if we got it the same phase. Ah, uh, Their ghost pepper salsa is the real deal. I got it just thinking it was, like, just gonna be the kind of fast food ghost pepper that's just, you know... Not spicy at all, and I regret it instantly. Oh, you know what I regret even more? Shiny to Dunce Sparse, number nine. <laughs> Are you serious? Number nine. That's unreal. That's unreal. How do I keep finding these? Now you gotta get the nature of all the Dunce Sparse. Yeah, at this point. All right, let's see what nature. Impish. Ooh. No Very mark. Oh. <laughs> I am also. I also have a side hunt. I'm. I'm looking for hop open. Oh, shiny dunce bars. Hey. Oh, hey, hey. Oh, oh. Fourteen twenty. Derwin. 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 <laughs> the best Animal Crossing villager. I wish I had him on my island. Yeah. I would pay a lot of bells for Derwin. If you got Derwin on your island, you might as well be rich. Uh, and it has five segments. Oh, oh man. Derwin. I love hearing the story about your first DS the other night. I thought that was really sweet. Shiny Dunsparce! First DS! There we go, 12,000 phase. DS. It stands for Dunsparce. Not dual screens. Quiet nature. Still not the quirky dunce sparse I'm looking for. In order to have one with every nature, I need a quirky dunce sparse. DS equals dual segment. Consider this. It could mean dripple segment. It's the dual segment, unfortunately. I was starting to reconsider what I what I tell people on stream that I listen to normal music when I'm not streaming, because that was definitely uh, some incriminating evidence that shows otherwise. Shiny Dunsparce! Two-in-one sandwich! Dual sandwich! Yeah, DS, that's what it stood for. Rash nature, so still no quirky yet. I still just keep bouncing back to Rotom's slot machine, how much I want it to happen. Shiny Dunsparce! Alright, let's see if Patreon's the one. Modest nature? I have a lot of modest ones. Alright, 136. On to the next phase. Parthernax? That's... <laughs> That's Mario, right? It's so crazy that Charles Martinet um, voices... Oh, the, the money glitch is gone. Voices Parthernax in Skyrim. Such a different role for him. You want to suggest a disappointment of Dunsparce? I like the, uh, the alliteration there. Though Dunsparce is not disappointing, especially that one! Oh my gosh, that was instant right afterwards! Let me double check what power I'm running! Title Encounter Teensy, that's like... That's back to back! <laughs> that's the fastest phase so far! This is not a disappointment. Disappointment. Quirky! I have every nature now! I have all 25 natures of shiny Dunsparce. So that's one less thing to look forward to with every Dunsparce that I find now. Yippee! The quirked up disappointment. <laughs> All right, 136, is it gonna be the one? It is not. It did become a disappointment. The Wii U is, is one of the best ways to play the Ranger series, if you downloaded them from the Virtual Console on there. Shiny Dunsparce! All right, Ranger. It's got a mark, careful nature. Teary, that's a personality mark, the teary-eyed. Crying because there are no more Pokemon Ranger games. One time I had the perfect setup. I was in like a group of four. We one turned it. It was insane. That's no way. Shiny Dunsparks. Hey! This is the one turner right here. <laughs> I hope I catch it in one turn. Gentle nature. Gentle. Well, I need the mini mark too. I need the smallest possible one. 
But I, I don't need it. I, I could get the three segment and I'd be okay with it. But this one is two segment. No. You can do so much with it. If you ever do get stuck in the void, Retire Glitch is the void guru to reach out to. He's helped out like at least five people I know who have uh, really? got stuck in the void. And Shiny Dunsparks. <laughs> Hello! Hello. <laughs> well, come on in. Blue oh. Factor and Shiny Dunsparks stuck in the pool. Oh, wow. it's Blue Factor. Oh, hey. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's up, uh... I have Gonna name this one The Void. Yeah. Lax Nature. Let's see if it's the one. Oh, it's evolving right now. The void is evolving. Oh. <gasps> That's it! That's it! Shiny three segment to Nuts Mars! No way! No way. Phase 139! <laughs> no way, man! Oh my gosh! I got it! It's over! <laughs> It took so long, I thought your mic cut out or something. It That's long. it! <laughs> no, I had to like double check. I was looking at it, I was like, that one looks a little bit longer. Oh. <laughs> Three oh. segment of Dunsparce. Oh. Shout out to the void. Oh Insane. Oh yeah, Master Ball time. You're right. Alright, so I'm gonna reset the game and catch this in a Master Ball. Yeah. And there it is. There's the void. Now I'm gonna use the Master Ball. Which I have two of, thanks to some hacked Oshawott I got on Wonder Trade. Shout out to uh, the fake website that said that. Critical capture in a Master Ball, because that's the way it displays. <laughs> the Void. It's it's over. I'm I'm still coming to terms with that. Like I don't have to do. I don't have to go down into Area Zero with that sandwich anymore. No more. No more. Let's see how big it is. If this is the smallest size, I'm going to have like the the largest pop off ever. Just a good sight smaller than average, just a little bit little. Okay, so I'm gonna get my maximum size one here, and I wanna compare it. I wanna see who's bigger. Oh, I feel like an immense wave of relief right now. <laughs> but I also feel the weight of the video editing that's ahead of me. Dude. <laughs> yeah, the two segment is so much bigger. <laughs> but man, look at that third stripe. But this video's not over yet. I promised I would make the sandwich in real life, with Fire Piplup's recipe, so let's do that. I don't know how we got here, but it's time to make this sandwich in real life. Extra firm tofu. This is gonna be the container that we marinate stuff in. Let's uh, seal it all up, shake it all about, put in our tofu pieces. Now it's time to use this drying pan as a frying pan. Let's, let's make Brock proud. After marinating the tofu for a couple hours in the fridge, we fry it up. Here's the tofu. It does not look like the pictures. So if it tastes terrible, I can blame myself and not the uh, bizarre sandwich I'm about to eat. Now it's important we get into the seasonings, starting with the deli horseradish sauce. If you want the giant dunce farce, use a little bit. If you want to find the tiny ones, use a lot. Then, we have our Herba Mystica, or the first part of it, parsley. In the game, we need nine pieces of this to uh, bring in Dunsparce. In this version of the sandwich, we're just gonna use six. A little bit of uh, rice is nice. For additional Herba Mystica measure, we're going to put some arugula on there. And it's a monstrosity, but this sandwich should be bringing in some Dunsparce soon. And there we have it, the Dunwich. Let's take our first bite. All right, that's not bad. Most of the flavor is coming from the horseradish. It's not my favorite combination of textures in the world, but it's not terrible. I will probably finish this. Anyway, I'm just happy to be done hunting this three segment, never having to do this hunt ever again. Oh wait, what am I doing in platinum? Oh no.